Oh, a Tesla executive just dunked on some <laughs> manufacturers. Every EV model from any brand contributes to the Tesla mission and is celebrated internally as contributing to the acceleration of sustainable transport. But I am tired of the announcements of new EV models and press releases about EV investments by manufacturers who then spend huge amounts of lobbying dollars to weaken pollution standards in market after market. Generally, these polluters have not been very successful, but their tactics to weaken pollution standards, price on pollution, directly lead to an anti-EV public debate. <coughs> Toyota was the vehicle that drove past me yesterday and uh, made me cough <coughs> like that, which of course is definitely not relevant to what Rohan Patel is talking about here. Oh, I didn't know about this. The Cybertruck's big display has higher resolution than the screen found in the Model S's and X's, which ensures that the image displayed on Cybertruck's big screen is crisp and clear and not blurry. If you recall, the European Union is not happy with BYD, but BYD is building a plant in Hungary, which will help BYD avoid these higher tariffs. And BYD expects to begin producing cars before the end of next year, an incredibly rapid pace for an industry where factories can take four or more years to complete, but that's just an estimate. We'll see if that actually happens. This is not China, this is Europe we're talking about. I don't think I've seen a single video of kids chanting Lamborghini or Audi, Audi or Volkswagen. All of these kids are gonna go home and they will not shut up and they will keep talking about this Sabo truck and some of their parents might actually take a look at Tesla. Maybe not necessarily a Sabo truck, but maybe a Model Y or a Model 3 because Tesla's brand will be at the top of their mind. The Sabo truck tour in China continues and it draws some huge crowds. This is D12 driving in a Costco parking lot and we are entering a tricky, tricky, hairy situation here and yet it's smooth. It's smooth. Yeah, if it's D11 and parking lots, good experiences were about as common as Stephen Mark Ryan not making any girlfriend jokes in his videos. I mean, possible. And look how natural it acts. Uh, I sped up to 2x, but it's keeping distance when another vehicle is parking. It's not going too close and it starts going exactly at the right moment. There's a vehicle in the front, so it gives it more distance, slows down and only speeds up when it's appropriate to do so. <laughs> this is... Yeah, these FSD 12 clips are pretty impressive. FSD 11, yeah, this this would be not a smooth experience. This is still a 2x speed, but look at the car slowing down for a speed bump. It just it just it just smooth. It's appropriate. Whereas before, yeah, th this would have been such a challenge. It's really impressive. I cannot emphasize it enough. Again, another speed bump and it slows down again. We know that Fred is sometimes critical of Tesla. He just wrote this article about the loyalty of Tesla customers to the brand. And he says, I have owned three Tesla vehicles and I'm considering buying another one that's despite my auto wipers not working, Tesla not delivering the promised self-driving that I bought five years ago and my disappointment with the company's government. The cars are so good that I'm willing to look past all that and get a new one. So yes, I'm not surprised that Tesla is topping the brand loyalty list. Yeah, I'm getting really excited for FSD V12. This is it for today's video, by the way. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I I'm getting so excited about it. Although I'm trying to keep my personal expectations low for it, but then I see these FSD videos and then I get excited. But yeah, look at how well it works. It just drives here without any issues. I want to get this for my vehicle and see how it actually is for me. Oh, well, I guess it wasn't, it made a, a tiny little, I don't think I would call it a mistake if you, you can rewind and see that 
uh, interaction with that stop sign. It stopped and then it sort of stopped again, not fully, but sort of. But I think that's because of the NISA regulation, which makes the vehicle stop fully at a stop sign, which is completely silly in the US because no one stops. And sometimes where the stop line is drawn makes not much sense. Not always, but often. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm getting excited about FSD. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode.